supposed to be believing in Moses. Yes, yeah, you are supposed to believe in Moses and the Torah. You don't have but, to. We see, but we see that Moses himself, the, the law was given, right? But also as part of that, but when they had to, when there was atonement, when there was atonement, sorry, when there was atonement for sin, we see that a, 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 a lamb without blemish had to be killed. I'm not sure so what you're was, describing. You're going to describe me how your God can forgive better than I can. Yes, he forgives because he's a perfect just God, which requires that sin must be put. Um, what is forgiveness? No, listen to me. I don't think you understood what listen. forgiveness is. No, listen to me. Will you let I know. me speak? But can you just no, explain okay. what forgiveness is? And then it, okay, when you're ready to have a conversation, come and get me. But you cannot interrupt me. Go ahead. Don't interrupt you will not me. let you speak, I know him. He's not going to let me speak. Can, can you possibly give me some time to speak? Okay? So perfect justice requires that sin is paid for, right? But where this is where our, the God of the Christian God is superior. The God of Abraham, the God of Moses, the God of Isaiah, the God of the, the prophets, you know, and, and Jesus Christ is perfect because he says a perfect God that says sin must be paid for, but yet a perfectly loving God that says I will take that sin upon myself, you know, how, which is different from Allah, who just allows people to sin, even according to, to your own hadith, even if somebody went and raped a woman, they can go into heaven. So it allows sin. To, to just go without punishment, without repentance. So according to this Christian scripture, and this is where the, the gospel comes in, perfect justice requires, sin must be paid for. But Jesus Christ in his perfect love takes that sin upon himself so that we we can so we, we don't deserve, you know, we don't deserve the, 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 the love of God, we don't deserve salvation because we're all sinners. But God in his perfect justice and his perfect wisdom takes that sin upon himself and we by accepting him and repenting and telling and accepting that love he has for us, then we we have access to salvation. So that's that's the message. So you just so basically so basically you just preached. Now I didn't ask you to preach anything, I simply said, I give you a scenario. When you kill my brother, now without me demanding any penalty from you as a system of retribution that yeah. you get killed in return or you get fined or put in prison or someone else does it on your behalf I said look what if I forgive you De not demanding any of that I simply say let go I simply let go of any punishment yeah. I simply say I forgive you now that kind of forgiveness is what I understand to be forgiveness and I asked you can your God in your belief system forgive better than I can instead of answering the question you went into a preaching mode and talk about all oh, the Torah and the Bible and Christ and this and this. No, this is preaching. Now tell me, in your response, did you demonstrate in any way, shape or form that your God can forgive better than I could? Okay, so on the scenario you gave me, you gave me the scenario, mm -hmm. if I did something wrong. No, I just if I, This is a discussion I just some... followed on. Yeah. There was a brother here. I said, if you kill my brother. Yes. Now, instead of demanding a payment back because you yes. did something wrong, right? Then you forgive. Because justice demands you should be paying something, yes. right? Being punished. But so if, if now the family forgives you, because he's dead, he can't forgive you, right? Yeah. The family forgives you and saying, we don't want anything whatsoever. Yeah. Now, can your God forgive better than that is the question. Okay, so I'm going to put it back on you to say, if somebody kills your wife, Excuse me. No, no, Don't no, give me another question. No, no, no. No, no, no. I'm, I'm not going to. I'm not going to entertain that. Yes, I'm, I'm not going to entertain that. I'm, I'm going to answer you because if somebody kills your wife, but yet gets away with that, is that justice? Listen. So if I for, so to answer your question, if I for, if you for, if if you forgave somebody without requirement that is paid for, then that's injustice. What I and was remember, asking. remember, God is the perfect just God. What you didn't realize is I was so asking I about the concept you of without forgiveness. No consequence, remember what I said earlier on when the other friend was there. I said in Christianity, I can challenge you right here, you yeah. don't believe in forgiveness at all. You believe in payment. Forgiveness yeah. is not requiring payment. Do you accept that? No, I'll take no. For forgiveness, how do you marry? Okay, okay, okay. No, 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 no. What, wait, okay. wait, 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 please wait. Monster, let define me forgiveness. Again. I've asked, me, I've been asking you so many times, okay. what is forgiveness? Let me, you've, you've just defined an, an no, example. No, no, I'm not going to define. I'm going to ask you to define, define it. You've correctly defined an example well, of no, forgiveness. forgiveness no. Yes. Could you yes, define, no, I could agree. you define forgiveness? What you've, what you've said is forgiveness. I agree with you. Yes, I agree with no, you. But it's unjust. Which is what? It's unjust. What you just said. So can God forgive like that? No, because he's just. So he cannot forgive. He is perfectly just. He can forgive. 
But he, he, no, 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 how do, he, he cannot forgive us. How can he justice? forgive when he cannot do that? Monsoon. You just said. Monsoon. One, one moment. Monsoon, Did give you me not, time to respond. You will have time to respond. I don't want you to. No, no, you will have question. time to respond. I've, I've answered yes. your question. You yes, need sir. to answer my question. Slow down. You accepted. Monsoon, sir, I'm going to interrupt. Excuse Excuse me. Me. You I accepted. Interrupt. I want to interrupt. Do interrupt. Please. You accepted please, please, the definition. You accepted the definition of forgiveness where there is no payment required. Is your God capable of showing forgiveness like this? You say no. That means your God doesn't show forgiveness because that's the definition that you're working on. You work. Okay. Give me okay, a definition Monsoon, of forgiveness, Monsoon, which Monsoon. you can Before work I on. Before I carry on, can, I, can we just say, let's be fair. You've asked me to be fair. So when you ask me a question, I answer you. I ask you a question. I want you to answer my question. Go ahead. No problem. Is that okay? Okay. So you've asked me a question. Please I answer. believe I've responded. No, you have. I can respond can again. You, can you now ask first of all? Question is this. Do you believe in the forgiveness from God, that God can forgive? Okay, so can we do one question for one question? No, no, this is the question that I'm going to now formulate to you, step by step. So the question is one so, one. So one if I answer theme. you, can you, then I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to answer your question, mm -hmm. right? And then I also want you to answer On my question. On the same question. topic, no problem. On the same topic. On the same topic. Oh, wow. So now, forgiveness. Brilliant. In Islam, God can forgive someone without putting them or showing them um, making um, them suffer any punishment. God can simply forgive them. Because he is unforgiving. No, because he is unmerciful and all forgiving. And unjust. I'm not. As I explained to you earlier on, forgiveness is an aspect of his justice. You think justice is just so crude that okay, a, a child steals a lollipop and you send that child eternity to hellfire. We don't believe this kind of justice. This is not justice. <laughs> Justice is taking into account all conditions and situation and aspects and events of a person. What they're capable of, what they understand, what they don't understand and so on and so forth. So sometimes justice actually is to be lenient on them. Justice demands that you are actually lenient and being merciful on them because of the situation they're on. That's justice. You that is not that right. Is so, so I would like you to now define yeah. in your system what is forgiveness yeah. as opposed to payment, and give me an example where God forgives without any payment. Right. Okay. So I'm going to respond to him to say forgiveness is someone can look up the, the definition, but forgiveness is when you overlook something or you pay for it. Okay. But forgiveness is very different from justice. The scenario you've just described, where you say, so according to the Hadith, for example, it says, even if a man rapes a woman, it actually says that, you know, they, they, will, you know, they will be forgiven. They, they will have salvation. That, I would say, is a very unjust God, because guess what? I can go around raping people, you know, and guess what? God is going to forgive me. I can go around doing what I want. I can go around killing people. Guess what? God is forgi going to forgive me. So my, my, my response to that is, yes, what you've, what you've described is forgiveness, but it's injustice and it's evil. So the question I now have to you is that, who determines the terms of justice? Who? who? I'm still waiting for my answer. I'm, I'm giving you the answer. No, you haven't answered the question. I asked you, define you forgiveness. Like answer. No, no, you didn't answer. But you need to respond to my listen, question. Listen, listen. You need to answer the question that is asked. Define forgiveness and give an example where God forgives without payment. Did you hear that again? God forgives without payment because that's the way... I've, I've given you an example where Allah... Excuse me. Allah of the Quran... In your belief forgive, system... Because he says you can rape people but yet go... Where? Go, where? I'll give you the response. Um, and then we can, you can answer the question. Define forgiveness and how God forgives without any payment. Okay. So, Sahih Bukhari, volume... Seven. Read me the hadith. So I'll give you the reference. No, no, I don't want the reference. I okay, want I'll give you, you to the read reference. the hadith and Sahih I'll take Bukhari, the reference later. I'll give you the reference. Sahih Bukhari, volume... Someone can open there now, actually. No, no, you read Sahih read Bukhari, volume 7, book 72, number 717. It says, even if you rape, rape someone, but you say the, the shahada, the hadith? It's the you will the enter the paradise. Now, can you read the text? I've, 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 I've summarized it. Stop, stop, read stop, it. stop. stop. Someone open no, it no. and read it. Be I'm giving you the... No, no, no. Somebody you, if you bring it... No, brother, don't. No, I don't have don't. Good. If you are going to read, say there's something hadith, I would like you to read the hadith in full, and then we'll discuss. I don't want... Someone open that hadith. No. You bring an example, read it yourself, 
because the onus is on you. I'm giving you the reference. I don't I'm want the reference, reference now. I'll, I want I'll you give to you the make. Full hadith no, if you're gonna week, make a claim, not next week. But I'm week. making a claim. I'm giving you the reference. I don't want you. No, no, no. Don't be silly. I'm giving you the if reference you, no. where he says you no, can no. rape someone, but don't if you say the shahada, don't be silly. You will get into paradise. Brother, one second. Don't be silly. I'm giving you the reference. If you're going to, if you're gonna make a claim of something about hadith, read it in full, and I will check that in Arabic. When you read the I'm English info. You no, the I'm not interested in the references. I'm giving you the reference. Do you want to open the reference? No, he, no he's not. He's okay. not gonna... okay, so you can go check out the reference. No, Any no, audience so, can go and check so, out the reference. So don't, brother, I'm second. telling you, I've read do it. Do not, I've listen, paid listen. It. Do not bring in a discussion. I'm claims, you the reference. Listen, claims that you cannot substantiate by providing you evidence. Why do you want him to open the reference? I don't have internet. He Why says he doesn't have internet. Who, who else has got it? No one else has got it. Have you got internet? Okay, go to Sahih okay. Bukhari. Now. Sahih Bukhari. Sahih Bukhari. I'm not interested in anything. The lady is making a point. Let her establish her point. Bukhari. Book, um, sorry, number 717. Um, say again. Number volume seven, seven or just seven one seven? No, no volume seven. seven, volume seven, seven. Yeah. Number volume seven one seven. seven. Number seven one seven. seven one. Yeah. So that answers your question that in your Bible, in your belief system, God forgives without payment. Yeah? No, no. In my in my belief system, uh, this, God forgives sorry, within sorry, sorry. his justice. This hadith answers my question that in your belief system, no. God in my forgives belief without payment. Uh, I wanna in know my belief wow. system. I wanna know God forgives, forgives, God forgives with no, justice within justice, justice because me. he's a just listen, God. Listen. He's not an injust God like Allah. Allah is an injust God. Excuse me. He forgives whatever he wishes. I asked you a question, which is in your belief system. Does God for, forgive without any payment? Or does he not forgive? Because Same. forgiveness... I just said to you... No. Yeah, yeah. So what do you say? Mm -hmm. So what number... number does that better answer your seven. question I asked? Number 717, I'm going to answer it. So should I read it? Sure. Or do you want to read it? Uh, I don't mind. What, all of it or okay. part of it? You yeah, should read, read all, all of it. it. Read it, all of it, yeah. Okay, I came to the Prophet while he was wearing white clothes and This sleeping. is the injustice of Allah, by the way. Go on, go on, sir. <laughs> then I went back to him. After he had got up from his sleep, he said, Nobody says, none has the right to be worshipped but Allah. And then later on, he dies while believing in that, except that he will enter paradise. I said, Even, even, even if he had committed illegal sexual intercourse and theft. I said, even if he had committed illegal sexual intercourse and theft, he said, even if he had committed illegal se sexual intercourse and theft, I said, even, even if he had committed illegal sexual intercourse and theft. Okay. So, carry on, finish all day. Okay. He said, even if he had committed illegal sexual intercourse and theft, in spite of the Abu Dhar's dislikeness, Abu Abdullah said, this is at the time of death or before it, if one repents and regrets and says, none has the right to be gossiped but Allah, he will be forgiven his sins. Okay, so this hadith clearly tells you that even people sin because they die on a state of affirming the oneness of Allah, oneness of God, they will enter in paradise. This is all we believe. And you may be punished in hellfire for billions and trillions and zillions of years for your crime, but because of your belief that there is none, there is none worthy of worship except Allah alone, which is the key to paradise, you will enter paradise. But in between, you may be in hellfire, punished for all these things for millions and zillions of years. The key to paradise is to worshipping Allah alone. So now, before there's not people responding here, this is the explanation. Like, Wait, why are you talking at me? Slow, I need to, I need slow to down, slow down. The question I asked you is this. This hadith has not given me an answer for the question I asked. Does God forgive in your belief system without demanding any payment and give me an example of that? Okay. 
so I'm sorry. And you, obviously you haven't. I'm, I'm going to respond and I'm going to... Uh, and no, I don't want you to respond to this. I want I you to respond, respond to my question. To, yeah. Your question is, does God forgive without any requirements of forgiveness? That will be an unjust God. This is not what I asked. So God does not forgive outside of his justice. And so, so God that, doesn't so, forgive. So then I've answered your question. I've got a question for you now. No, you haven't answered. No, so no, basically, no, I've got God a question for you. You need to know. No, no, slow down. That's not what I said. What is forgiveness? That then? is not what I said. No, what I said me. is that God does not forgive outside no, of His justice. What is forgiveness? So my question to no, you. No, no, before you ask my it. My question to you is that because you have. Allah, slow down, lady. Allah, no, wait. Since what is Allah, forgiveness? I've answered your question. I've you got haven't answered the question. I've got a question for you. No, no, you just. I've got a question. No, since Allah just forgives. Since Allah just forgives. Excuse me. This, this I am confused hadith. at your definition this of forgiveness. Hadith. Wait, no, please. I am confused I've got a question at your definition you. of forgiveness. I've got you a need to. You. Be, before you ask. Before I've got you a question. ask. No, no. Of course you will ask my, me a question. We agreed to that. Did you understand my answer? No, no. I am confused with the definition of forgiveness. In your definition of forgiveness, what is forgiveness? You're asking me another question. No, same question. Because I asked you a no, question. You, you which, need to answer which, my question. Which you did not answer. I answered your question. Excuse I've got a question for you. Me. Why don't you want to answer my question? Excuse Why are you scared of answering my question? Be a woman of integrity and question. fairness. I'm going to answer it again. Excuse me. I answered your question. You have misunderstood I said, forgiveness. You asked, Monsu, can we ask questions? Do you know what forgiveness questions? is? Mansu, listen, listen. And how can we discuss a subject? No. What do you even know what it means? Mansu, we need to be fair. No, we need me. to be fair. We need do you fair. know the term Mansu, forgiveness? We need to be fair. You asked me a question because I don't want you dominating this. We, we have to be half and half. There's two people. Did you answer my question? I answered your question. What did you say? So therefore, can you repeat one more time? No, I repeat it. Repeat I'll repeat one more time. Again. Will yeah. you answer my question? Yes. Once you will answer, you listen no, and answer my I question. I will, God willing, answer your question as agreed. We need to once, be fair. Once I'm not you here just have to answer your question. Listen. You need to answer my question as well. Are you not listening? Once you have finished answering my question, then we will move to your question to me. My question is, was about forgiveness. But it's very clear that you don't understand what forgiveness is. So now clarify what you understand by the word. No, that was not your Excuse me. No, no, no. This the question, question I asked you is this. The first question you asked, does God forgive? With that, can, can what, what is forgive? What said, is forgive? No, the question you asked me was, does God forgive? Do you know the key term forgiveness? Requiring payment. Excuse me. Monsu. Can I clarify my Monsu, point? Look, look. You said, does God forgive you, you, without you, requirement for payment? Excuse me. Was that what you asked me or not? You clearly have not understood the key terms within the question. Now, this question has several key terms. God is one term. We understand what God is, right? Monsu, Excuse me. Let me finish. Games and I'm not Excuse ready for me. This game. Let me finish. A question has words in a sentence, right? Does God forgive without payment? So the word God has a meaning, what God is. Forgiveness or forgive. Can I finish? Um, listen. Excuse Monsoon. me. Monsoon. Excuse what me. What is your question? My question is, when I have asked you a question, within the question I had several terms, key terms. If you fail to understand the key terms, you will answer it totally wrongly because you would not understand the question. Within my question, there are key terms. One is about no, Monsu, stop. We're not gonna stop. Do that. Seriously. The one is about Monsu, does God Monsu, forgive without payment? I've, I've got a question. Excuse you, me. You need to. We've, we've been Excuse here. Lady, you asked lady, me, lady, does God lady, forgive without payment? Lady, was that you, your question? You have not understood my question. I'm going to put that question back. To no, you. you have not understood I'm my question. I'm going to put that question back. My to question you. has these key terms. Excuse me. Um, before you go. No, wait. I'm going to put that question back. Um, he doesn't. Seashell so, Christian. Seashell Christian. <laughs> do you still feel that you? Need to debate about Sadaqatin and Sadafatin, or you are embarrassed enough to say I'm sorry, no, I made a mistake. This is an I didn't make a mistake. Topic. You know that that very well, and you are. Let's right. debate it right now. Uh, we are leaving right now. So no, let's debate it. So, so I'm we, leaving right okay. now. Get on the line. No, no, I'll see you right. another time. So, so let's organize this right. debate. Monsa, Monsa, you are going to. We're running away from this conversation. Yes. We're running away from Excuse answering me? questions. Yes. Listen, you listen, listen, listen. That is really yeah. pathetic. Yeah. Pathetic. Yeah. As we realize, excuse me. Excuse me. No, no. Yeah, 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 yeah. You just lie. Yeah, you, just lie. you just lie. Hate preachers. You just lie. You just lie. Hate preachers. You just lie. Hate preachers. So now, did you answer my question about God can forgive without payment? No. Of course not. So it is quite clear that you fail. You fail to answer for a reason. Why? Because in your belief there is no forgiveness. So my original claim is proven without a shadow of doubt that in Christianity there is no real forgiveness. Case closed. There is no real forgiveness in Christianity. So people, really, do you want to be a Christian? 
you will never be forgiven by God. Okay? Come to Islam, Allah is also forgiving all merciful people. Even if you make mistakes repeatedly and sincerely turn to Allah again, Allah will look at your shortcomings and say, Yes, brother, and I can also, forgive you. And also Allah doesn't need a blood sacrifice. He's not a vampire. He doesn't need somebody to die and see sincerely, blood. Sincerely, just make sure. Yeah, sincerely. You have to sincerely turn to Allah in forgiveness and, and Allah will forgive you. And that's what he This is the mercy of Allah and the justice of Allah. Exactly. No innocent person needs to die. No blood needs to be seen. All you have to do is forgive. Oh, Allah forgive me. That's it. What's happening? You're going to do it or what?